Hey guys, welcome to the final video of the Hien Kata series. Today we're going to be going over Hien Goren. Many of the techniques at the beginning of the kata are similar to things that you've already seen in your lower hand katas, but we'll go through them slowly and notice some of the differences. Starting from the inside middle block and back stance, just like hand sand head, we're going to punch here without moving the hips, then step in and rotate as you turn face the front. Other side, inside middle block, punch, step in, and rotate. Again, block, punch, in, and Turn, block, punch, in, and rotate like that. Continuing from the punch, we're going to step through augmented block and back stance. Step in, low X block. Make sure that you chamber those hands into your hips. Bring it back, chamber it in as you lift. Now keep this simple, you can just pull the hand, close the right one, and clear with the left. Step through, and punch. If you'd like, when you fire a high X, you can make a small circle as you pull the hands in, but don't worry about that if you're just learning the kata. From here, one more time, we do our punch, step, back stance. Pull the hands in, X. Pull the hands in, lift. Clear, step and punch. Building on the crescent kick section we worked on in hand sand end, we're going to start from a lunge punch facing the rear. We're going to do the crescent kick, balance, chamber the hands, land and block. From here we can alternate, so to the other side, crescent kick, chamber, land, and block. Here we're trying to emphasize the balance after firing the crescent kick, but also chambering the hands, landing, and then firing the low block. Do this 10 times on each side slowly and then work it up to speed. From the elbow strike, bring the hands to your left side, step into hook stance and augmented block. Grab, pull, and twist as you fire your uppercut. Facing the other angle, here, hands come in, augmented block, grab, twist, and pull. Uppercut. As we move on, it's important to note that the next move is simply a low X block in a hook stance. The jump is just the cherry on top. So from the X block position, we have to remember to pull the hands in before we fire. Pull the hands in like that, and then X block. In the hook stance, we make sure we sink nice and low, add that X block in, and there's your move. So when we practice it, we'll take out the jump first. We're just gonna step through, chamber the hands, and X block. One more time, step, chamber, and sink as you fire your X block. If you do not chamber, especially when you jump, it's going to be very sloppy as you're coming down from the air. So we come to uppercut position, step, little hop, X block. Step, augmented block in front stance before moving on to the next part of the time. Before we move on, I'd like to quickly mention that it's important to find the similarities between your katas. So instead of looking at each move as an individual new technique, you can relate it to something that you already know. For example, when we go to the end of the kata here, we're going to grab, and think about this as a low block. The left hand's on top, the right hand's down. Well, the palm is up and the left hand is open, so there's some differences. But when you pull back, it's very similar to just firing a low block. When we turn and adjust, same thing. We want to emphasize that low block chamber. Stepping through here, another low block chamber, only with the hand open. We grab and pull. Switch, grab and pull. Switch, grab and pull. Do that as many times as you can. And of course, keep in mind as you go forward and learn some more advanced kata, the side eye, Gion, and Pig. There are so many moves that are taken from the Hien Kata. So try to make those connections and it's going to make learning new Katas much, much easier. Now let's put it together for Hien Goryeo. Hien Goryeo! 